For new and returning players, when will my favorite character rerun is the eternal question. And I kind of feel like a serial killer detective looking through all this information, <laughs> making maps, making charts, trying to figure out exactly what the rerun release timeline will be. Heading into Natlan and for the first couple patches, when will the next Chronicled Wish be? Will it be a Leeway Chronicled Wish, an Inazuma Chronicled Wish, or something else entirely? Let's talk about all of it. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we build and test every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. All right, so first things first, this is the character release timeline done uh, by Paimon.moe. So definitely go check it out if you want to see how many patches it's been since each character has been released. They do this for the five stars, for the four stars, as well as for five star and four star weapons. And to be honest, it used to be like a great resource to go to, and it still is, but it's just getting a little bit messy. And they're also, for some reason, not counting the chronicled wish in terms of in, in how long characters have been released. So you can't just look at numbers like, Yes, it's been 29 patches since Albedo's rerun, but Albedo was on the Chronicled Wish. That counts as a rerun. It's effectively just a normal banner that you can lose 50-50 to cool characters with. So what I've done here is taken this big, super long list that's sort of hard to see what's going on and which characters where and how long it's been since they've reran, and I've put them into the tier list format. So characters that have reran for less than seven banners, so that's four patches, that's pretty recent. So I've just shoved them all up here. And the super recent characters aren't on this list, so Arlecchino and whatever aren't on this list. And so we've got Navia and Ayaka. It's been eight banners, so four patches since they reran. Nine banners for Ayato, 10 banners for Farina, 11 for Risley and Venti, 12 for Hu Tao, 13 for Child and Zhongli, 14 for Yulan getting up there. I think she was at the beginning of Fontaine, 15 for Kokomi. I threw in a few four stars, the ones that have been a really long time since they've rerun. Mika and Razor are 16. Heizo has been 17. Kave up here at 19, along with Ganyu. Nilu been 20 patches since she's reran, and Shenha up at 21. So when we're constructing our banner timeline, I'm going to pay a special attention to the ones in the later half, thinking that they're probably going to come sooner, but that's not the only factor. Genshin also likes to throw curveballs and rerun characters more quickly. So whatever I put is going to be more on the safe side and Ben and I don't know why I just said Bennett and Hoyoverse is going to be throwing curveballs and rerunning certain characters sooner than you probably would expect. So what do I expect? Well, for 4.8, because we know we're already having Farina rerun. I could take her off, right? She's rerunning. We already know she's rerunning and Siege Green's coming out, so we could take off Farina. Uh, but after the second half of 4.7, for 4.8, I've got predicted Risley, Navia, and Nilu. And that's because most of the time, characters released fairly early in a regional patch will rerun before the end. And Navia, to me, strikes as a character that was fairly early. Not super early, but fairly early. Actually, it was only 4.3, so actually very early. I would definitely expect Navia to rerun before the end of Fontaine. For Nilu, it's just been a while. It's either Nilu or Shenha right here. That's just the reality, at least from my perspective. And for some reason, the buzz is that Nilu is going to be. But I think the other reason is that a Dendro character, and I don't know how to describe it. I just have a feeling that Nilu will rerun before Shenha. I kind of feel like they're saving Shenha for something, like they want to release Shenha with a new cryo character or something like that. I'm not sure. And this is the next one. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Chronicled Wish. I think it's going to be a leeway Chronicled Wish. And I think that these are the characters that I expect to join the Chronicled Wish. I would think that Shenha would be on the Chronicled Wish, except that you need to rerun twice to be on the Chronicled Wish as per Genshin's own rules, which I don't agree with. Why, why couldn't they just put Shenha on this banner? It'd make a lot more sense than Baiju, who's reran a lot recently. It doesn't have to be Baiju here. It could be Hu Tao. Um, it could be Yalan. But I kind of feel like Hu Tao and Yalan, maybe they would put Hu Tao. Let me know who you think would be is more likely Hu Tao or Yulan or Baiju for the Leeway Chronicle Wish. I feel like Hu Tao is still one of their characters that does pretty well for banner sales, but maybe because there's so many power characters now, like now we have Arlecchino, we have Linny, maybe they're, they're feeling less about Hu Tao, and Hu Tao, Ganyu, Zhao, 
that would be a pretty hot these would be pretty hot characters to lose your 50 52 like obviously you've got chi chi on the banner but kaching pretty good character you know wishing for hutao and getting a ganyu constellation wishing for zhao getting a hutao constellation that's pretty pog chi chi really being the only real loss here i guess it kind of it kind of does make more sense than baiju i'm actually i'm gonna switch it i'm gonna put hutao here I know a lot of people maybe think that Zhang Li could be part of a Liwei Chronicled Wish, but I don't see it. I don't see any Archons, especially since Venti wasn't on the Monstead Chronicle Wish. I don't see any Archons being on here. Um, it is also possible, of course, that it's not a regional Chronicled Wish and that it's just a mix of characters, but I don't see that either. I think that they'll stick, at least for now, until they do all the regions once, perhaps. I think they stick to the region. And I also see them doing Liwei first, then Inazuma, partially because there's two standard leeway characters and there's no standard Inazuma characters. So it's possible they do, you know, these they do these characters anyways. But this is what this is what I expect um, for a Chronicled Wish. Now, will a Chronicled Wish come in 4.8 or in 5.0? I see it in 4.8 as a way to drain everyone's primos right before the new region comes. I see Liwei Chronicled Wish for 4.8 before the new region comes. I don't see them like new players are going to join for 5.0. I don't see them throwing on a Chronicled Wish to confuse new players for 5.0. I don't see that happening personally. Uh, but when we go to 5.0, what will those banners be? It's just been too long since we've had a Shenha rerun. Just way, way too long. And so I expect maybe they'll release a Cryo character for 5.0. That would be kind of funny. But they did release. If you think that that's crazy because Shinazunaya is the next region and this is the Pyro region. Well... They released a Pyro character as the first character for 4.0 with Linny. So I can actually see a Cryo character for 5.0. They'll start their Archon rerun train with Venti. They love to rerun the Archons at the beginning of the new region because they knew a lot of returning and new players will want to collect the Archons. And they usually do like to rerun them at the beginning of the patch. So, and, I, and they like to rerun in them in order, is what I was going to say. So, I like to I see Venti first. I see Yolan and Shenha. If we look back here, it's been a really long time since Yolan. Not quite as long as Kokomi. Been an absurdly long time for Shenha. Where do I see Kave, by the way? Yeah, I actually see Kave in 4.7 along with Emily. That's what I think. I don't think they'll wait. And if, if anything, with Nilu. So it's either going to be second half of 4.7 or 4.8 with Nilu. We'll put we'll put Kave there. I know there's a lot of people waiting for Kave. Yeah, 5.0, Venti, Yelan, Shenha. I see, I see Yelan being a character that they want to help carry the... the 5.0 banner sales and then 5.1 i'm making a bold prediction i'm throwing us for a loop i'm breaking the pattern i'm saying they're going to rerun two archons in one version because i think it might get a bit long to only release one archon per version because we've it's going to last release the archon train is going to last all all the way basically there'll be an archon in every patch all the way through and i don't i just i just think at some point they're going to have to break and release two archons in one patch 5.1 is going to be two new characters so if we look at any other version history at least this is if we go with this pattern and i think that it's a pretty solid pattern genshin loves to break patterns but i think this is a pretty solid pattern we're going to get our one new character emily in 4.8 we're going to get our one new character in 5.0 i'm predicting a cryo character we're going to get two new characters in 5.1 they did it with sumeru they did it with fontaine i expect it for 5.1 as well it just makes good business sense everyone's excited they're gonna release two new hot pyro characters probably the pyro sovereign big pyro dps probably we get in 5.1 and i see I'm, I'm i'm predicting the two archon it might that might be a bit too much maybe maybe they'll save maybe they'll put kokomi here yeah seeing both raiden and zhongli and a pyro sovereign in the same patch might be a bit crazy so maybe it's just zhongli and kokomi are the rerun so i'll go with that this is my locked in prediction and then if we go back to our handy dandy how long has it been since everyone's rerun we've kind of captured everyone here we've captured some of the leeway characters with the chronicled wish and so the left one out is ayaka i think ayaka ayato and then i've got lumion as a stand-in for the pyro archon for 5.2 i don't see much point in predicting past 5.2 because you know you could we could do the thing you know Raiden is 5.3, Nahid is 5.4, Furina is 5.5, and then 5.6, we rerun the Archon again, and we're doing Archons all through the entire region. Um, I see them releasing, sh rerunning Shan Yun for 
Lantern Right, that's what I personally see. Aliwe Chronicle Wish for Lantern Right could make sense. I think that's one area that you could argue that we might get an Inazuma Chronicled Wish for the end of 4.8. I definitely think we're going to get a Chronicled Wish for 4.8, but I think that's one area you could argue is Leeway Chronicled Wish comes for, for Lantern Right. That would make a lot of sense. And then we get Inazuma Chronicled Wish. How would that change things? It would be a big change. So this is my banner timeline for if we get a Leeway Chronicled Wish. If we get an Inazuma Chronicled Wish, this changes everything. Because all of these characters that are rerunning here, Ayaka, Ayato, Kokomi, these are going to rerun. These are going to run in the Inazuma. And we'll also get, you know, Kazuha, Ito. Uh, it's going to be really, it'll be really messy to redo that. So I'm going to stick, I'm going to lock in my prediction. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. There's not very many dreams of the future banners. We have very little information about Natlin from dreams. We have very little information about future banners. I know there's some things making people think that it's going to be Nilu, but those aren't that reliable either. The last time we had predictions of Shenha rerunning in the past for certain reasons, and she did not rerun. And that was very, very surprising. So I don't think it's an absolute given that uh, Nilu's here, but I personally, in my heart of hearts, I think that Nilu here, Shenna for 5.1, I think that this, um, I think that this makes sense. And hopefully this gives you at least some idea. If anything, you know, if you don't believe in my predictions, at least you can appreciate the work I put in to put this together, right? This timeline, of uh, how long it's been since certain characters, how many how many banners since certain characters have been re released. And this can at least help you mentally map out, okay, these are the characters that I should expect to save for. Hopefully this helps you plan out your polls. Let me know who you're going for. Take care. Bye for now.